that was a, another big shift for me was just like finding my comfort zone in, you know, hitting these really big moments and and doing it in such a way that, you know, it's kind of like writing a song where you're a bit vulnerable in that moment. But again, that feeling of when you're doing it with the band and, and they're all right there with you is like, you know, it's pretty addictive and it's, it's just one of the best feelings that you can get playing music. So yeah, it's been a, a big evolution for me. In terms of my music writing evolving, um, I don't know that I have a too much of a timeline with like, now I'm gonna do this kind of music and now I'm gonna da da da. Because sometimes I'll write something that maybe is a bit poppier, but the next day it's something that's folky, and the next day it's something that could be a little rockier. And then depending on how I configure them, I can make them either or. such thing as spells I think I finally broke yours the only way I can tell is cause your smile's beginning to fade yeah I think our biggest inspirations are just like the people that we've been able to work with and yeah. like surround ourselves with in the city cause like I don't know you look at when you start looking at, at bigger bands it's like you're Painting a really pretty picture that might never happen. Yeah. Where it's like, at least we know for sure St. John's gonna be here and we're gonna Whoa. be able to play shows. that people are drawn in by the artists that they like is because they can see some of their self in what they've written about. As a synth waver, you know, neon flows in my blood and I'm trying to theme all of my songs around the organic parts of our body and the also the, the journey of going on a left hand path. I just went through a process of kind of learning the instrument, learning what I could do with it, finding different inspirations that led to me finding myself back to this point where I now play this kind of music.